Rev. Father Ajik Baka who campaigned against Good Luck Abel Jonathan and ensured Muhammadu Buhari became Nigeria president in 2015, has drawn the attention of Bianca Ojuku, wife of late Biafra warlord, Ikimba Ajimegu Chuku Ameka Uchiku, over Peter Obi's stingy comment, the Catholic priest had earlier stated that is currently trending and keeping the world talking. Mbaka had during his ministry's gathering in Anugu state, said Peter Obi can't be Nigeria's president because he is a stingy person even when he has a lot of money. Mbaka said, unless God ceases to exist, Obi would never smell the seat of the president and if eventually the Labour Party presidential candidate wins the election, he will shut down his adoration ministry because hunger will kill everybody. According to the verbatim statement of Rev. Father Ajike Mbaka who spoke in Igbo language as translated by Okialiu, the Catholic priest said thus. A good old man is better than a young wicked man. It is now that Atiku is serious contesting for the post of the president without Peter Obi as his running mate. A very stingy man that you can't eat his money. Do you want hunger to kill you people? Is like you people's head is not correct Abby? Go and listen to what Abu Bay Muo NSO said in Anambra State, but if it's in Anugu, they would have said we should apologize to Saludo. As God in heaven lives, he isn't going anywhere if he wins, I will shut down my adoration ministry if Peter Obi wins. If the Igbos wanted someone to represent them, then it shouldn't be Peter Obi. I saw a video of myself circulating all over the place saying I apologize to Peter Obi. No, I never apologized to Peter Obi wholeheartedly. I apologized out of duress just to obey my bishop and in obedience, I had to do it. I apologize because I am a Catholic priest and my bishop said I should do so. I had to respect my bishop. It was that video they were circulating all over the place where I was carrying a child and apologizing to Peter Obi that triggered me. I would have kept mute. I did not say Obi is a bad man ooh, I only said he is a stingy man. A hungry man doesn't want a good man. What he wants is someone who is a free will giver. That man has lots of money but he is only after I, me and myself. Although there are some people he usually gives his money, but it won't be of good to him. I am very happy saying these words. Joy has been restored in me for speaking out. My apology was only but a poisonous curse against Peter Obi. Assuming he has sense, he would have come to Adoration Ground and apologized to me here at Adoration Ground after I dropped that apology note. Anyone supporting him is wasting his time. I know the role I played in bringing back Peter Obi to office when he was sacked from the Anambra State Government House. Ask Abedo, Archbishop Anakwenwa and Esulu Uga who were in that meeting. If you are close to Peter Obi, tell him to come here and apologize and fix those things he spoiled here. Bianca Ojuku replied the stingy man comment by Rev. Father Ajike Mbaka who against the person of Peter Obi and said, her experience with Obi, shows how Nigeria and the world can be better Ufit, if they adopt the Peter Obi kind of stinginess. Bianca Ojuku narrated how the former Anambra governor, Peter Obi refused to buy a $3,985 suit and went for a $220 suit in 2009 just to donate money to help the needy. Bianca Ojuku Facebook post read, No apologies, please. On Peter Obi's supposed stinginess. In life, you either live by your creed or you desecrate the mold by which the Almighty created you. Any progressive nation measures an individual by his values, not his faults. If this way of life is what is derided as stinginess on the part of Peter Obi, then we all need to adopt this mold for a more sustainable and more humane environment. Sometime in 2009, Mr. as he preferred to be addressed, Peter Obi, governor of Anambra State at the time, visited Dim Chuku Omeka Ajumegu Ojuku and myself at Dallas, Texas. He came to deliver a get well message from Dr. Goodluck Jonathan and was billed to attend a black tie event at the Dallas Marriott. Curiously, Obi flew into Dallas airport with one small carry-on luggage which he insisted on wheeling around himself, and on getting to our residence requested to freshen up. What will you be wearing to the event tonight? We inquired. It was at that point that it struck him that he could not show up in his casuals at such a ceremony. I insisted on taking him to the luxury men's emporium at Neiman Marcus to buy a smart black suit. When we got there, he was busy doing the dollar to Naira currency conversions. The suit that was a perfect match for him was a dapper Tom Ford suit with a price tag of $3,985 plus tax. To cut the story short, 
Obi refused to pay what he termed that outrageous price for the Tom Ford suit and that was how we ended up at Steinmart where he agreed to pay a more acceptable price of $220, tax inclusive, for a basic men's suit which he was happy to wear to that evening's event. However, Obi later gave her dollars meant for the suit to be used for her charity foundation.